Getting right into it. Uh, the first winner's fight, winner's round one. We have Strife Hawk versus Viper from Best G. Viper is playing Seth. Strife Hawk is playing Altnum. Um, so far, Viper has been, you know, pretty good at keeping his distance, keeping pressure on from across the screen. Um, but Strife Hawk loves these long-range characters, you know, people with really safe attacks. Uh, I know he plays Ivy in Soul Calibur 6, so this is a pretty similar character. Well, definitely. Um, well, Seth is actually a pretty good character. He requires a lot, though. He's like the ninja of the entire game. Yeah. So his movement is something that, once it gets started, you have a really hard time dealing with it. But... Altenum is actually not a hard counter for it, but she has the tools to help deal with it most of the time. Yeah. Oh, and you see her aerial overhead. It's just, it's weird because they both have the same kind of aerial overhead. Yeah. Just getting the, some commentators, some proper equipment. There we go, much better. Now it isn't like blaring into the mic. Okay. There you go. You can take the good one. I mean, you I good? Gotta, I gotta keep one air on. I feel like I just ended like fusion or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, this is very loud. So see, yeah. I'm probably gonna turn yep. it on the TV. Talent, talent. You can turn it down on the TV. Thanks. Okay, so it's, it's even now. Um, one one. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know where it is. It's weird because both characters actually have an incredible pressure game. Although yeah. most people probably would say that, that Seth is low on the damage, which is true. He is low on the damage side, but. If he's constantly hitting you, it doesn't really matter if he's doing less damage, you know? Yeah, yeah, no. Keep going. Right there. Yeah, Perfect. and it does. And he has, like, I know those orbs that are very good setups. Yeah, they, they are. Like, they are they're amazing because it's, like... You know, it's delayed pressure. Exactly. He's, he's one of the only characters who uses a special to start a whole different chain. Because yeah. by the time one's finished, he's already still in with a standard combo going exactly. into the second one. Um, but because of the pressure, obviously coming from Strife Hawk, it's obviously hard to get most of it out, and that was a perfect use of use of it again. Yeah, and the range on that really surprised me. It is. You know, is that like no matter where you are on the stage? It is. It um, it actually tracks uh, up until it's it ready to fire. Yeah. So it you. No matter where you are, it's just going to come at you. Oh, it's a timing thing. And especially if you're not looking at it, you oh, will yeah. know. But he made a counter pick to Wagner. Pretty in your face. She has a very good tool for anti-air. She has a shield. Yep, space control. She just it, It's just like Tsubaki from Blaze Blue. Ah. Another one of his favorite, uh, Strike Fox favorite characters. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's like he always finds a character that's just the same. But, yeah, um, to fit his play style. Exactly. Yeah. And Viper's doing, like, these long combos. He, he is, like, it's, 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 it's what I expect from Seth. Yeah. Like, I can't. But at the same time, I mean, there's a, like, there's a lot of work. Yeah. There, there's a lot of work. It is. It's, I, I don't want to say that one character needs more inputs than the next, but Seth is one <laughs> of those that needs more input than anyone else. Yeah. It's so rewarding though, he's such a beautiful character. It, like It is. I actually really like him. He was actually the first character I wanted to play with, but I never could because he was just he was just too high on skill level. Yeah. Oh that was fast. Glam uh, versus white pancake. You said you wanted to be on stream. Wow. Oh yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter which one happens. I'll eventually get there. Is yeah. there a blast? But I mean, you also can't play because you're, you're commentating you're right, right now. now. So comment yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so. See, it's just... <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 
And this has become like, com yeah, it's become a completely different fight. Yeah. Um, especially with tools like that DP. Yeah, it's if you're not used to fighting her, it's a lot to adjust to, especially coming from Altenum straight to Wagner. It's a lot more. Oh, trophy earned. Error of the bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on. Yep. Hold on. Yep. That's actually the trophy for playing with five female characters. Ah. Uh, so. I feel like Stripe Hawk did like at least three of them by himself. Yeah. I play with one. Yeah, only play with one. I can't. Yeah. It's like, it just it's just too much. It's just too much. Like. Yeah. And Viper is really turning yeah. up right now. Yeah, like, he is. <laughs> he's not. He, he, he didn't, He's not happy about the last round. Not he's going a, in. Oh. Just mix-ups everywhere. Yep. Constant pressure from across yep. the stage. Okay. Nice. Oh, block. The wake up super. Yeah. Strike Hog is so good at baiting them and then blocking them and punishing you. You know, what I'm hoping to see is I've been noticing for the last few rounds that no one's really using this Warful Gauge except for the extra damage boost. They're not, yeah. I don't know if they're just testing the waters right now or if they're just. They just that's how it yeah. But, um. Those consoles can save your life. They really can. Yeah. Um, I don't know, both of these players don't seem to be particularly defensively focused. So. Mm -hmm. It seems like more like all over the top. Yeah. Which is fine. Rush down play through play that is just it's simplistic but it's also difficult as well too. Yeah. Like you have to really have a, a great idea of what your opponent can do and how to best open it up and bait them. Yeah. There we go, Strike takes it two one.